In this video, I'm going to show you how to export LODs from Maya and bring them into Unreal and have them already set up for you, working uh, perfectly and all that good stuff. So I like to follow a certain naming convention. I like to call my base model LOD0, L-O-D-0. And this way, any copies that I make will be called LOD1, LOD2, etc., etc. So my first LOD, my base mesh, has 188 triangles. What I'm going to do is make a copy of it, which will automatically be called a LOD1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the resolution of this copy. So I'm going to take some of these edges and I'm going to start to collapse them, delete them, and basically make a medium resolution uh, version of my object. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with what LODs are, maybe this is the first time you hear that term, in, uh, in game development, most game engines, if not all of them, will actually switch between different LODs or different versions of the object you're looking at. So say, for example, you're looking at um, a tree in a forest that you're walking around in. You want the tree to be at the highest resolution, the highest number of polygons, when the player is standing right in front of it and looking at it because you want it to look really good when the player is up close. Now if the player starts to get really far down a dirt path and they're kind of far away, they're not really going to be able to see the detail too well. So in this case, you want your second LOD to kick in. So the game engine will switch out the high resolution version or the highest resolution version, usually called the base mesh or LOD0 and it's going to switch it out for a medium resolution version of the object which the player won't be able to tell when the swap happens as long as you uh, are pretty good at building LODs and if the player can't tell you can have a lower resolution version which helps the game to run at a faster frame rate it helps keep uh, memory consumption low helps out the GPU and just makes the game a much better experience for uh, for your audience so depending on how aggressively you want to optimize your game, that's going to determine how many LODs you use. Also, different game engines support different numbers of LODs. Um, in this case, I'm going to create three LODs. So I've already created my medium resolution mesh. Right now, I'm creating a very low resolution mesh, which is one that's uh, it's going to be used for very, very far away sight lines from the player camera. So you can see this guy doesn't even have beveled corners anymore. It's just a simple box with only about 12 triangles. And that's going to be LOD2, which is actually the third version. So if I look at the first one, then the second one, and the third one, you can see how the resolution from the base one, called LOD0, starts to go down all the way to LOD2. So to make this work, select all of the LODs, in the in the order of the base mesh first so you pick the highest resolution first then the medium then the low then just go up to the edit menu and um, go down to the level of detail and choose group Maya is automatically going to use uh, default numbers so you can see as I scroll my Maya viewport back or forwards the different models actually become hidden or displayed based on how close my camera and my viewport is to the object see that I get really close, there's my high res one. As soon as I start to back away, there's the medium res. If I back away uh, very far away, I'm going to see the low res version. And I can actually adjust these numbers inside of Maya and change the settings. So right now it's using default settings. So if I look at the, um, the channel box on the right, we have a, a distance parameter which is locked right now. And you can see as I move the camera, the distance parameter changes and updates. There's two other parameters just above that, as you can see. One is called threshold zero. The other one is called threshold one. Okay, threshold zero determines when the second LOD is going to kick in. I know that may not make a lot of sense because threshold has the number zero, and the second LOD um, is the second one. But just try to bear with me here. What you can do is you can set a number, a distance number, from the camera. For threshold zero and then set another number further away from the camera for threshold one which is when the uh, the third lot is going to kick in so now you can see that my medium resolution mesh kicks in a little bit later 
and the low resolution mesh kicks in when I'm further away from the object uh, with the view, uh, perspective viewport camera inside of Maya. So you have a lot of control over how these LODs kick in. So once you have your, uh, your settings and all that stuff and you're happy with it, we can actually export this stuff out to Unreal and Unreal will bring in all of these LODs. It'll bring it in with the settings that you chose for, uh, for the threshold and all that good stuff.